Hi, this is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing our weight loss vlog. Today, I'm going to go over questions to go in to your physician with so that you will have the best possible outcome in having them help you with your weight management. So a lot of you have posted comments and about that you're having difficulty getting your physician to help you, and that's really unfortunate, and I'm so sorry about that. So today I'm going to go over a list of things to go in to your doctor uh, appointment with so that it'll kind of smooth sailing, if you will. It'll make it a little bit easier or more straightforward to get what you need. So here's my board again, okay? stuff to ask your doc. So <clears throat> you'll have to understand that a lot of physicians are maybe a bit um, so a little bit frustrated I'm sure with the whole weight loss issue because to be honest often they feel like they can't help. They feel uh, frustrated in the sense that a lot of it rests on the patient to do eating less exercising more and that's why I think it's frustrating for the uh, patient and physician so we're gonna go over things so that you can help um, make that smoother okay so so the first question you need to ask your physician is do any of my medications cause weight gain we've done an earlier video on this what I would suggest to you is you have the internet at your disposal go online and search on the medications that you're on and say to Google does you know if you're on metoprolol does metoprolol cause weight gain yes metoprolol can cause weight gain or does um, does glipizide cause weight gain yes glipizide can cause weight gain okay so you've googled all your medications and figured out which one of them might cause you to gain weight so when you go in to your appointment what you want to say is hey I'm concerned that some of these medications might be causing me to gain weight is there an equivalent of them that I can use that will be weight negative or weight neutral so if I'm on an antidepressant um, you know that's making me gain weight could you change me over to Wellbutrin or Cymbalta and sorry for the purists out there I'm using brand names because I think that's what you'll recognize so can I use those because those are weight negative to weight neutral um, if you're on uh, and this gets into the next one so the next question has mostly to do with people who have diabetes or are pre-diabetic all right and that is so for diabetes um, or even if you're pre-diabetic are there medications that you can use that will help you lose weight so things like Victoza uh, which is a diabetes medication. It helps with weight loss. It's been approved by the FDA for the weight loss indication under another name, which is Saxenda. And there are other diabetes medications, Bayetta, um, uh, Farsiga, which you'll see advertised a lot. Those are not approved by the FDA for a separate indication of weight loss. However, they help with weight loss. So you have to understand that the wording in those advertisements has everything to do on whether or not the FDA has approved it for the indication of weight loss. And that takes a lot of extra expense on the uh, part of the pharmaceutical company. So if they haven't jumped through those extra hoops, it won't say that it's for that, but you'll notice it'll say can be helpful for weight loss. Well, that's the reason they word it that way. So check and see if some of your diabetes medications or if you're pre-diabetic you might still be able to get your insurance to cover right one of these medications to help with weight loss so that's that and then so the th three of the bigger medications that are used specifically for weight loss um, Phentermine, Qsimia, Contrave check out with your insurance see if they cover it Quite often, all of the pharmaceutical companies now are requiring prior authorization for just about any medication. But I'll tell you that for a medication like Phentermine, which is generic, even if you pay out of pocket with no insurance coverage whatsoever, I know locally people can get it here for $16 a month. So you may want to be aware that if you ask your physician to write these medications and they say well there's a prior authorization we're not going to do the prior authorization because it takes too much time or we just carte blanche don't do those ask them to write it for you anyway and you'll just you can just pay sixteen dollars a month which is 
you know, not exorbitant and, uh, and see if that is something that you can do. If you, if you let the roadblock hit you of, well, we don't do prior auth, so no, but you don't ever find out that out of pocket, it's pretty inexpensive, then you miss that opportunity. The other ones are branded, so they're more expensive, but I would tell you, go on their websites, see if they have patient, uh, assistance cards, see if they have discount uh, cards and, um, see if you can get some help that way. But just see, and then the last thing is, and this is a huge thing, if you're having trouble with your own physician or provider navigating the waters of obesity management, and that is get a referral to a bariatrician because this is a relatively recent thing, and that is um, a ref uh, people are, physicians can be now, board certified in obesity management. And if you are board certified in medical obesity management, you are called a bariatrician. So if your own physician is maybe um, not working with you like you would like, ask them if they would give you a referral to the nearest bariatrician. And that would be a person who is board certified in obesity medicine management. And to be honest, they'll do most of the same things that we've been discussing here. In addition to, uh, they can do medically supervised uh, weight replacement, which to be honest, you know, so can your internist do medically supervised uh, weight loss management, which is basically just meal replacement like shakes, but you do have to watch and uh, check people's electrolytes um, and the kidney function and liver enzymes at regular intervals if they're on this. So very easy. If you are not getting anywhere with your medical care and you still need help, get a referral to a bariatrician, okay? So, because quite a few of you have mentioned this, that you're having trouble with your own physician. So I hope this has helped. Get yourself organized uh, before you go in for a, a doctor's appointment and um, go in with your um, list of questions you'd like to ask, and I think you'll do great. And if you need any help, certainly I try to get to the questions, um, and I'll be happy to help you out with that, okay? Good luck, guys. You're doing great. Thanks.